Welcome to Greenhorn Linux. Linux for Greenhorns. On this episode of Greenhorn Linux, Adam picks up from last week's episode and shows us how to install graphical programs that detect temperature for your important sensors. All right, so today I'm going to show you how to install uh, two graphical user interface uh, temperature display type programs. So uh, this is um, uh, very nice to see a, a list of the temperatures for your CPU. Now, uh, hopefully you went through last week's video and actually detected or probed all of your potential sensors. Uh, if not, uh, you have to do that first. So watch week, last week's video. Uh, basically, there are two types of programs I like. There are many, many more, but uh, uh, my favorite two are uh, is one called P-Sensors. Uh, this works uh, fantastic with Ubuntu 12.04 uh, Unity desktop environment uh, and anything else in Ubuntu 12.04, uh, such as the awesome Windows Manager, uh, uh, XFCE, uh, um, uh, KDE. Uh, basically, this is a great all-around uh, temperature monitor for any kind of desktop environment you can think of. Now, the second um, program I'm going to show off is uh, actually a PPA. Uh, it's called Hardware Sensor Indicator. This works excellent with Ubuntu 12.04 and the Unity desktop environment. Uh, it does not work very well with any of the other desktop environments. So if you're planning on using a different desktop environment, uh, hardware sensors may not be for you. But uh, if you really like the Unity desktop environment, um, definitely give Hardware Sensors Indicator a, a, a look. Um, the only drawback is it is a PPA, so I'm not sure how you feel about installing PPAs, but just keep that in mind. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to install the software in VirtualBox, uh, just so you can see the installation process. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to sh actually show off the programs on my own system, because LM sensors doesn't work in VirtualBox, uh, because it, it, it can't detect any of the uh, sensors, so which is fine. But I just want to show you actually how to install these programs. So uh, open up your terminal. Again, you can do this from the Ubuntu software center. Uh, I just prefer to do this from the command line just because it's much, much faster. So sudo apt-get install psensor. Enter, put in your password, and let it install. So the second method is adding a PPA to your system. Uh, it's a program called Hardware Sensors Indicator. Again, this only really works with the Ubuntu 12.04 Unity desktop environment. Uh, if you're using XFCE or some other desktop environments, just stick with P-Sensors. Uh, you probably don't want this because it doesn't really work that well in other desktop environments. So, and again, make sure you understand and are okay with installing a PPA to your system. So now we need to install the, or I'm sorry, add the PPA first. So type in the command add apt repository and then I am just going to copy from the website here then hit enter and then this is telling you it will add this PPA or this repository to your system so now we need to refresh the database of where we get software so it's going to be apt get updates and then now we can add the program so sudo apt get install and uh, indicator sensors. Yes, that's what it is. Hit enter. All right, let's check out P sensor first. So go to your dash, uh, just type in P sensor, and you can bring it up. Um, yours may come up by default. Uh, mine, I just have uh, going to uh, the Unity bar up here. Um, so here's a little icon and then I can click show. So uh, if you want, you can automatically have it kind of hide in the Unity uh, 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 panel up here like I have. Um, and then when you click on it, uh, you can see at quick glance all of your temperatures. Uh, you can also click show which this will bring up the graph. And then here um, you can basically say which, uh, what things you want to see on this graph and what you want to keep track of. Right now I just have the CPU. Uh, what's also nice is if I minimize this, um, it'll show up over here and uh, I just basically have a, a running temperature over here uh, on this side. Um, so that's that's a very, very nice feature. Uh, the only drawback is it'll use whatever is the highest selected. So for example, if I'm running a my CPU to keep track of and I'm also keeping track of my GPU or my graphics card, um, now since my graphics card always runs hotter than my CPU, um, the graphics graphics card will actually show up by default over here. So uh, so depending on what temperature you want to keep track of uh, is what you may want to have checked. Now if you want you can go crazy you can you can have all of these checked. Um, 
And the other thing is uh, under preferences, here's how you can figure stuff. You can say what the foreground is, what the background is, uh, op uh, um, uh, uh, the uh, opacity, uh, the interval updates, uh, the monitoring duration. Um, you can also set up uh, under P sensors and ses sensor preferences, you can also set up alerts. Um, so, for example, right now the uh, temperature alert at 60, um, but let me put this down to 50 just so I can trigger an alert. Okay, so now uh, I have an alert triggered, and what's nice is if I just leave this up in my Unity bar, it immediately turns red and it brings my attention. Holy cow, something just went over the uh, temperature that I uh, set up. So, uh, like I said, this is a very nice program. Uh, this works uh, just like this in XFCE, the awesome Windows Manager. The only thing you won't get, uh, and the advantage goes to the Unity desktop environment, is over here. Um, this feature is pretty nice that obviously you won't get in the other programs or the other desktop environments. Also under preferences you can look at um, if you want the enable the unity launcher counter so that's basically uh, what I was talking about there. Um, so now uh, you won't have that number so if that bothers you you can turn that on and off. Uh, I personally like it. Um, you can automatically uh, hide the window on startup so uh, as I was saying I automatically have this go right up to uh, uh, to automatically hide just so I just have just the icon so again you can set this up any way you want but it's a uh, slick little program all right and this is hardware sensors indicator this is the PPA that we installed again this only works with Ubuntu 12.04 in the unity desktop environment so I'm gonna launch this now I've already started configuring some of this uh, you can see I have Got a warning there. So um, if you're looking for just the CPU, uh, it's going to be under lib sensors probably, and then for me it's the core temp. Uh, this may change depending on uh, what CPUs you're running and, and how uh, LM sensors detected everything. But uh, here's where you, uh, where you label everything. So right now it's called CPU. Uh, the default was like core zero but you could label it, for example, my CPU, and immediately updates there. Now I've got, let me turn this icon off for a second. Okay, so um, now I'm going to change this back to CPU. All right, uh, and then NVIDIA, this is for my GPU. So the way this works is basically you just go through and you check everything that you want displayed when you left click this. So when I left click this, uh, I get a running uh, uh, value of everything that I want to keep track of, uh, which is pretty nice because in P sensors, I really, uh, when I click uh, the P sensor icon, everything shows up. I don't have an option to configure what I want seen in that part. So um, this is nice because you can kind of configure that to whatever meets your ne particular needs. Uh, and then if you scroll through, uh, you can see I've got the GPU fan, I've got the, uh, the thermal sensor zero, um, and then uh, if I ever want to switch which one is being displayed, um, I just uh, click this and then I could say GPU. So if I'm just doing a GPU intensive uh, application, um, I would maybe click that just to keep track of the GPU temperature. And then if I'm doing a CPU intensive application, I could just click CPU. So here you can say this to start automatically on login. That's what I have set up. Uh, you can have, uh, if you want the label, um, which I like the label, uh, obviously the value, which I don't understand why you wouldn't have the value, but uh, that's nice that you can uncheck that. You can uh, select your temperature scale, Celsius or Fahrenheit, um, and then you can have an icon. Now, uh, if you want to configure uh, this, um, what you can do is uh, you go under properties, and then you can trigger when an alarm. So basically, um, okay, so... Uh, there's a couple things here. The alarm basically will tell you if you wanted to set up an alarm. So uh, if my uh, temperature is above 50 degrees, then the alarm will show up. Now, I don't really like the alarm because um, it, for me, it doesn't really show up uh, that nicely on my dual screen monitors. Um, so instead, uh, I've disabled that. And what I like to do is set the low range and the high range. And this will update um, this label accordingly. So right now, uh, the high value is 50. That's why this is red. Um, if I bump this up to, let's say, 60, then you can see um, it is in the green. So what that means is it's higher than my low value, 40, uh, but it's lower than my high value of 60. 
So now you can see, um, now that we're creeping up to 54 degrees Celsius, uh, that it, it kind of spiked up. So this is nice because you can set a range, and then this would be a quick glance of how close you are coming to your high value threshold. So, uh, you know, if we bump this down to 35 and then maybe 65, then you can see we're running just fine. So, um, this is nice if you want to configure this to your liking to figure out when you want this uh, label to be triggered. Personally, I really don't use the icon. Um, I just kind of keep that off and just keep track this way. But uh, again, this is a nice visual thing to draw your attention if you start uh, creeping up to a higher temperature than what you think is necessary. So that's pretty much it. Um, those two programs just happen to be my uh, personal favorites uh, for monitoring temperature. Uh, I'm sure there's lots of others. I know uh, in the LXDE desktop environment uh, that uh, by default I think has a program that you can actually launch um, in the panel for LXDE. Uh, so uh, if people have suggestions for other type of, of temperature monitoring programs definitely put them in the comments below. Um, I've just found that those two to be the easiest. Now next week what we're going to do is we are going to write a quick script uh, that will automatically update your uh, sensors in the terminal. So if you don't want to use all this fancy graphical user interface stuff, uh, I will show you how to write a quick script that will automatically update and refresh uh, however many seconds you want in the terminal, so that way you can keep track of your temperature sensors that way. Well, hopefully you found this video helpful. Uh, be sure to check out my website, greenhornlinux.com. Thanks for watching.